Uh, next uh, subtopic is uh, theorem uh, de Morgan. So the introduction of uh, theorem de Morgan. So this uh, theorem was uh, proposed by English uh, mathematician uh, Augustus de Morgan, and uh, this theorem later as well, uh, was expanded okay, by George uh, Bill. So de Morgan theorems uh, used to simplify uh, expressions which uh, product or sum of variable is inverted. So in this uh, theorem, so we will use the theorem to simplify the expressions that have uh, uh, variables that uh, inverted. Okay, meaning that the variables that used uh, NAND or NOR gate. Okay. So these uh, two theorems. Okay, so we only have two theorems for De Morgan. Okay, the first theorem is uh, for NAND. So um, if your expression is uh, a nan with b, so this uh, expression is equals to a bar plus b bar. Second theorem is uh, nor uh, a nor b is equals to a bar and uh, b bar. Okay, so this theorem uh, show you that um, the process of uh, simplified uh, by using uh, De Morgan. If your expression have uh, nan uh, or no gate okay, uh, in your Boolean expressions, so what will happen when we apply the De Morgan theorems? So actually, for simplifying expression, uh, we need to uh, make sure that uh, all uh, gate uh, nan and also no uh, is uh, break. Okay, we must break all the expressions. Okay, so what will happen when we break the bar? Okay, uh, so break uh, here means that we break this uh, knot or bar. Okay? So the uh, first theorem shows you that uh, when you break the bar, so the sign is uh, changed. Okay, the signs will change from dot to plus. That will happen when you apply the Morgan theorems. Same goes with the second theorem for nor. When you break the bar, so the sign uh, will change from plus to dot. Okay, so this is the theorem for De Morgan. So you must remember uh, your equations. Okay, the bar in your equation, uh, you must uh, break the bar. Okay, and then when you break the bar, the sign will change. Okay, either from dot to plus or from plus to dot so this uh, application only apply for NAND and uh, NOR expression okay. right uh, so this is actually the explanation that I already explained to you eh, what uh, will happen when you apply the theorems right so uh, this is actually the comparison for each theorem in terms of uh, logic gates okay so if you can refer for the first theorem NAND gate is actually equivalent to OR gate with the inverter on each input okay meaning that uh, you also, you can draw this NAND gate uh, or you also can draw by using this logic circuit that have two not and one and okay? so this is the first theorem for second theorem, which is NOR, so NOR gate is actually equivalent to N gate with inverters on each input. Okay? So this is the NAND gate. So this NAND gate also equals to this logic gate that uh, have a two NOT uh, with a OR gate. Okay? So when you run this both uh, gates or circuits, is actually you will get the same results. Right? This theorem uh, de Morgan uh, can be expanded to two or more variables. For example, for the first theorems, a then b then c okay, is equal to a bar plus b bar plus c bar. For second theorems, for nor a nor b nor c is actually equal to a bar and b bar and c bar. We also have another example. So the other example. So here we have uh, six uh, examples how we can apply theorem de Morgan. 
okay we look at our first uh, example okay so this is our first example so how we can uh, apply the Morgan okay so for uh, the Morgan the tips is actually uh, you need to uh, apply the Morgan or you need to break the bar based on the terms or based on the group okay, of your expressions okay so based on this example actually we have uh, we can consider that we have two groups okay uh, first group is uh, a plus b and then second is uh, c okay so first step uh, we break the bar okay or the inverter okay the inverter Okay, into two parts. Okay, so break uh, here. Okay, so after you break this bar, you will get this. Okay, it is your sine dot. Okay, will change to plus. Okay, and then for uh, last step, okay, we'll uh, apply the Morgan for uh, the first uh, term, which is between A nor with B. So when you break between these two, Okay, so you will get these terms equal to a bar and b bar. Okay, so this is the first example. Okay, so we look for the next example. So uh, next example is actually involve the <coughs> sorry uh, bar that uh, have more than one. Uh, level or layer so you can consider that uh, if you have more than one layer okay so how uh, you can uh, apply the the Morgan okay so you need uh, to break uh, the most outer bar okay which is here okay so you break between a bar and b so you break between these two so what will happen okay you will get these uh, terms okay which is uh, the sign dot here okay change to plus okay and then b bar okay because after you break the bar so b uh, will have one bar and then a bar will have another bar so that's why a okay, will have double invert okay so what will happen okay, for the double invert okay so the answer will be a because uh, this uh, is actually will apply one of the Boolean algebra uh, theorems. Okay? A double invert is equal to A. Okay? And then uh, next example. Okay, so this is also the example of uh, several level or layer of your uh, equation or terms. Okay? So how we can apply the De Morgan? Actually, uh, Similar with the previous uh, example, okay, so we break the most outer bar. So we break uh, <coughs> uh, between A, B, and C. So we break the most outer bar, meaning that we break here. Okay. So what will happen? Okay, so sine dot here will change to plus, and then C will get a uh, bar. Okay, from uh, the first step this uh, we break okay the most outer bar okay and then after you break the most outer bar automatically a bar and b will get double invert okay because uh, before we break the most outer bar a bar and b already have one uh, inverter on top which is uh, a bar uh, or a bar is actually then with b right yeah, and then after we break the bar, okay, so uh, A bar and B will get another bar. So now uh, they have to invert or two bar. So what will happen? Okay, if you have double invert, so you will get uh, it will change to the original uh, value, uh, which is uh, A bar and B, or in a simple way. Uh, when you uh, meet the double invert, uh, meaning that uh, you just remove the double invert okay, for your last answer. Okay, so this is actually a theorem uh, in the Boolean algebra. <coughs> okay. 
Okay, so for the next uh, example, okay, so how we can apply the De Morgan theorem for this example. Okay, so same with the first example actually, we need to apply De Morgan or we need to break the bar based on terms or group. So here we have two groups, right? So we break the bar between these two groups. And that is the first step. Yeah? And then after you break the bar, so automatically your sign will change to dot. Okay, from plus. Yeah? And then the step is not uh, complete yet. So you still have one term that you need to apply the demogen, which is between A and then with B. So when you break the bar, so it will uh, change okay, the sign between A and B. Okay will change to uh, plus okay, it will change to plus okay. and then if you can see here okay, um, we need to put a bracket eh, okay, uh, for a bar plus uh, b bar okay, why? because we want to show that a bar plus b bar is actually in one group or one terms yeah, so we need to put a bracket. Okay. So uh, uh, the other words is actually uh, every time you apply the De Morgan uh, theorems, so the value must be put in a bracket, especially when uh, the next sign is a uh, sign dot. Okay, so here between A, B, and C is dot sign, right? So that's why you need to put a bracket okay, because. Uh, when you apply the Morgan between A B, the sign inside the bracket is plus. So, there is a, a different sign. Okay? Uh, but if you can see in our first example here, okay, uh, why I did not put a bracket for A bar, <coughs> sorry, A bar and B bar, okay, because the sign here is plus. Okay, so sign here is plus, so you don't have to uh, put a bracket. Yeah, because uh, if you uh, put a bracket or not put a bracket, it's still the same. It will not change anything. Okay, but for the this example, example number four, uh, if you uh, do not put the bracket, so maybe it will interpret to something else. Okay, uh, so I will show you here. Okay, what happened if you don't put a bracket okay so if you don't put a bracket so you will get a bar plus b bar dot with c bar okay so when you write like this uh, you may be misinterpret or mis uh, uh, defined okay, uh, the equations okay because here you have plus and you have dot. Okay, so uh, theorem de Morgan, the, the process of theorem de Morgan or Boolean expression is actually quite uh, similar with the mathematical functions, right? Uh, so whenever you meet n and also plus or uh, or, so you need to uh, solve okay, the equation that have n uh, equation, right? Uh, so in this case, so maybe you will read uh, B bar and C bar. Okay, so this is actually totally wrong. Okay, because B bar is actually belong to A bar. Okay, uh, because B bar is actually in the same group with A bar. So you cannot assume uh, this equation uh, become to B bar and C bar. Okay, so the right equation is actually a bar plus b bar okay, and with c bar. Okay. So this is the, uh, the reason why uh, you should put a bracket. Okay. So maybe you can see uh, the effect. Okay, uh, if you uh, do not put a bracket, what will happen if you... Uh, simplify the expressions yeah. next example okay uh, the last two example actually uh, the same example you can see the questions right but uh, 
the implementation of the Morgan is uh, slightly different. Yeah? So we look at this first. Okay? So what are the steps? So here, uh, before we apply the De Morgan theorem, okay, we can expand okay, between these two terms. Okay, so you expand, you will get this value. Okay, and then uh, next step, you apply the De Morgan. So uh, you apply the De Morgan theorem by uh, breaking the bar, uh, followed by teams. Okay? Uh, or groups, right? Uh, sorry, followed by terms. Okay, terms or groups. So we have three terms here. A, B, A, C, and D. Okay, so if we just break into three parts. So when you break into three parts, so you will have these equations. Okay, so all sign plus change to dot. Okay, and then uh, for the last step, still need to apply the De Morgan because we still have a NAND gate here, A, B, and A, C, right? So we apply the Morgan, so you will get these uh, terms. Okay, and then if you can see, both uh, terms uh, put in a bracket. Okay, we need to put in a bracket okay, to show that uh, both terms is actually in the uh, groups, okay, in the same groups. Okay, uh, the variables, okay, the variables inside the bracket is actually uh, referred to in one group, the same group, right? Okay, so for the last uh, example, okay, how we can solve the problem by applying the De Morgan theorems. Okay, start with uh, apply the De Morgan theorem instead of the uh, expanding the expression. Okay, uh, previous uh, example we expand. And then after that, we apply the De Morgan. But for this step, we start with apply the De Morgan theorem, which is we break uh, into two parts. Okay, because if you can see, actually here we have two groups, right? Okay, between this and uh, D. Okay, so this is actually referring to two groups or two terms. Okay. Why? Because A times with B plus C is considered one group. Okay, because it's a time or multiply. Uh, so we need to solve that problem first. So that's why we consider that one is a one group. And then D is D. So that's why we, we break into two. So you will get this. Okay. And then uh, next, okay, between these uh, terms, okay, we break into... Uh, two parts, okay, which is which is between A and also B plus C, okay, B plus C. So you will get this one, okay. Oh, sorry. And uh, these uh, terms we put in a square bracket, okay, showing that uh, all uh, variables is actually in the same group, okay. And then uh, lastly, we still have one uh, term that uh, need to apply the De Morgan, which is between B uh, C. Okay, so you will have B bar dot with C bar. Okay, so this is an example how you can uh, apply the theorem uh, De Morgan okay, uh, to the expression or to the term. So the most important part is actually um, how you can uh, apply the De Morgan uh, or how you can uh, break the bar. Okay, so the tips is actually you need to break the bar uh, based on the terms. Okay, uh, maksudnya di sini you kena pecahkan ikut group dia. Okay, ikut kumpulan dia. Okay, and then every time uh, you pecahkan dia, group tersebut, you letakkan dia dalam bracket. Okay, supaya you tak tersilap lah when you want to simplify the expressions. Okay, so uh, for the next part, I will show you examples. Okay, how we can apply the theorem de Morgan to simplify the Boolean as expression.